what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today video is going to be on the infinity g35 so i'm going to be putting a kinetics intake plenum on my g35 i got a real good deal on one uh the reason they go for like like 300 like 50 60 something dollars and i only got it for 150 dollars so i got on that real quick uh pull trigger and got it because i know the your stock plenum is a bad design they made it not they made it not good so i'm gonna be replacing that taking the stock one out and putting the upgraded plenum so um hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and let's get to this so i'm just showing you guys so this is the kinetics plenum uh in my shorts video i made a short video of it was like a bluish color uh, so um, I sand it down, made it smooth, and we painted it with some black uh, plastic paint. Cause this is this is not metal. It's like a high, hard plastic. Um, so I got the plastic paint for high temperature. Uh, so should be good on that. So I'm about to re put this one. I'm gonna put on. So I'm just gonna set you guys down and take off stuff. Then I get to you when I about to install this and show you what else you have to do. Let's go. I'm gonna set you guys down and then just take, start taking stuff up. And then when I get to the part where I'm taking off the plano, I'll get back to you guys. And two, uh, you guys, didn't, I didn't show you guys, but I would disconnect your battery. So let's get to the video. fuel rail but there's two bolts right here you take those off this one and this one take those off so it can be off from the you see now it's loose Once you take off those, you're just taking off the screws, the bolts, the, the, um, the screws around it, the bolts, um, all the way around right here, and then the ones in the middle right here. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll show you doing the next part.
So now, once you took all those around, now the plenum should come up, but it's gonna be, so there's two um, hoses on the connector, or the two hoses on the throttle body on this side. There's one right here, and I think there's one somewhere down here. So when you lift it up, you have to lift it up and take those off. Uh, so uh, you're gonna have a little bit of coolant come out, so just be aware of that. So let's go. So, there's a the coil holes. I'll show you right here. And there's one right there. I'll show you guys. So, so, there's one right there. My finger's at. You can't see it because I don't have the light on it, but it's right there. But you will see when you lift it up, there's two coolant hoses that goes to the back of too much, pretty much to the throttle body. So some states, I know it's really cold, so that's why the coolant goes uh, through there to warm up the throttle body. Um, but you know, some some states you don't have to use it. You can actually you can delete that if you want. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to delete it. Uh, you know, I'm in California, so. It gets cold, but not enough where you need to have those. Um, so once I take off the plenum and take off those two hoses, I'll show you how you can delete that. So let me take the plenum off and I'll get back to you guys. Cool, now I need to come out. Cool, no clue it came out from that either. Nice. So once you have it off, the plenum comes out. So if you guys knew, this is what inside the plenum looks like. So again, it's for new people that's watching, with my short video, I have this, this was all oily and dirty and I cleaned it. So that's what it looks like all brand new. Some coolant dropped up in here. I need to get a towel, wipe that down, but that's what it looks like. So, um, if you're just doing a top plenum, you don't have to, you don't have to take off the, the lower one. You just need to take off the top one. So you do so the the kinetics gasket when you buy it. If you buy it brand new, it comes like with a quart looking gasket that soaks that has a huge adhesive on it, so the court the gasket doesn't come off. But that's well, that one's not on there. But what I know of that gets soaked in oil and gets all it absorbs it and it gets all messed up. But mine doesn't have that gasket, so I'm, I'm going to see if I can probably just set it down to on this for now. If not, uh, I heard you can, well, I not heard, but I've seen people, what they do, they get uh, RTV and uh, they just put it on sides, on, put it like, like on the, the, where they bolt up or where they lines up, like, like where the gasket is at, they put it on there and then it should be fine on that. So I'm going to get the kinetics. Um manifold and show you guys what's the difference all right so you can guys can see this is the kinetics manifold intake manifold little plenum you call it too like that same thing so and here's a stock one so you know of course you can see a difference stock one has these so when the air goes in it pretty much the air is going throughout here and it was kind of not like a not an even flow and you can see it's lower from right here and on the kinetics, you know, you don't have these. You have this, but this this is okay. But you have this, but you see it's we're more open and it's more higher. You see, it's higher than stock. You see how it's how short. And this was more higher. Uh, what what this helps is it helps helps the cylinder one and two, because I guess uh, it's not gas, but the one and two cylinders not don't get that much airflow because the poor. Uh, design of the stock plenum so this helps with getting even flow with all cylinders 
uh, with this uh, manifold. So two, I want you guys to know Kasai, because when I posted the this, people, some people uh, messaged me. So if you want, you can use the the Punum spacer with this, uh, but you don't have to use the spacer. If you run into Kinetics, you do not have to run the spacer. So if you have the stock one, you want to run the spacer the spacer pretty much makes it kind of like you having this um so that's what the spacer you get more little uh it hires up this this part right here more higher uh pretty much when you use spacer it's like this uh but you do not have to run, run the spacer if you have this you can if you want to but you don't have to so just clearing that out to you guys um it's use your stock the stock hardware that you took this off it can go in here too um but yeah so this is all this is like hard plastic uh, it's not metal it's hard plastic um so when you're putting this on do not tighten this that much because you will crack it well i can see they kind of tighten it um not right there but let's see like right here it's a few of them and one right here that i can, see, I can tell they they tighten it where it kind of cracked them cracked it just from the side uh so to let you guys know do not over tighten these because you will crack this uh so next step you just all you do is you just transfer everything over so you take your throttle body off um it's four allens i forgot to bring my allens but i think i have a little set thing in my house so i didn't go get it but you take that off and you just transfer to there so same thing with this it runs the cork type gasket you can kind of see it's a little bit still on there but you can use the metal gasket on there my again you guys know i rebuilt this motor pretty much with all new seals and everything so it might come with new gasket so i have a new metal one so i'm just gonna swap that to over here so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get my tool and uh take the throttle bite off and uh swap that over then once that's done i can put the air put them on but that, before that i'm gonna show you guys what to block off for the coolant passages so let me get my tool and i get back to you guys This is my new gasket, so I'm just swap this over to the new one. So I'll put the put this one to the side and get the new one and put it on. So there you go. I have it on. Throttle body fits right up on it. So um I don't I forgot to bring my Allen wrench. I have a kit uh where it's different size of Allen wrenches, but I didn't bring it. But I couldn't get to the one right here right there because the, the little tool I have is too short but I know I have one somewhere somewhere I'll just have to find and tighten it but because this is actually this is more more shorter than the stock uh so yeah but everything's fit you see everything's fit it's on it's right up so next thing I'm going to show you guys um what to block off for the coolant because you know you don't have this one doesn't the kinetics don't have the ports the nipples where you can hook up the coolant ports so i'm gonna show you guys how to delete that so let me put this up so i'm gonna scratch it up and show you guys what to do all right so the coolant hoses the hoses are the ones that um they took off so one is right here then the other one is right here so you block off these i'm gonna show you guys what to do to block those off so what you can do is you can take them off take the hoses off from here and put a cap and block it off from there same on this side it goes down from right here so you can see my fingers right there you can block take get caps block them off or you can get you can get one of these two-way side so on these and you put it through here you put it here and you put the other side through there and you can clamp it off so you can do it that way that's the way i'm gonna do that's more easier um I'm trying to get a tool to get down there to get that off. Then one on that side off. I'm just gonna do it this way. 
cap it off and be done. So I'm gonna put them on and get back to you guys. So get this, put it through here, get your other side, and you put it like there. So that side is on. go so it's on it's capped off so the coolant just gonna go through uh through uh, so we good it's all blocked off like i said i might uh get the smaller ones like this of this type so it can be clamped more better but it should be it should be good uh so that's it guys and then what you do is uh you put the uh kinetics put them back on like i said I'm gonna see if I can use this gasket if everything lines up pretty good. If not, I'll have to get um, the, the RTV and just put it through here, around, and it should be good. But I don't know, see how this goes because it fits up straight to the connects fit straight up to this, so I think it should be good. Uh, so I'm gonna put you guys down and get the plenum and put it on. I even forgot to bring my torque wrench. I meant to do that because I wanted to torque it down. I don't know. Look like it, the gasket might work with it. Uh, don't follow me on, don't uh, take my word for it. Like I said, if it doesn't, still probably won't seal or not, I don't know. It looks like it lines up, but um, I have to screw the screws screws down since because I think a little bit of paint got through. So just do that, then get back to you guys. That's what it looks like on the car kinetics. They take the plant. So I have it on. Everything is bolted back up. Just reverse of you taking it off, just reverse of putting it back on. I didn't put the intake on yet or the the air filter box on yet, but I'm gonna find a tool to get that to get it and then two. So you know that long one you guys take off from right here? So it doesn't fit no more because you know it's not long like on the stock one. So you just find like a, maybe a short one like th like one of these. I have one, but I had it and dropped it in between the seat. So yeah, I trying to get that and it's raining now so i'm just trying to hurry up now so i'll probably just come back tomorrow to grab it out of the seat and then tighten that um so i'm just but i'm gonna go ahead and put everything on just turn on just a quick turn on right quick uh show you guys of it on and stuff like that so i'm gonna put the, the air box back on then i get back to you guys and i give it a start and there you go guys that's how you put the kinetics in uh plen air plenum on put everything back on because i had to hurry up because like you can see it's raining still raining now so put everything back on so uh, once you put this on i guess you, you can't use this bracket i mean you leave it here but that the the, the screw that goes right here uh you can't it doesn't it's because it doesn't fit no more so what i did the bolt that went from right here i put it back there so now i have it right there now so it's, everything is all tight down everything's good everything's connected you know you put the little nozzle back or you put the hose back right here and it went back on the here I'll show you. Uh, 
uh, right there. So again, uh, I still didn't have to put screw down the, the Allen because I can't reach, I couldn't find a tool, but I said, I'm just much rushed right now because it's raining, trying to get the rain. Uh, but the dark bar should be airtight. Um, uh, so I'm, but this, that one haven't been loose for now. I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna screw it down tomorrow. Uh, just, I couldn't find the wrench or the Allen wrench I need to fit. Uh, but let's give it a start and I'll show you guys. All right, so you guys see me put the kinetics uh, plenum on. So start the car up. The plume doesn't, the car doesn't want to stay on because it keeps hanging like leaks everywhere from well from here. So I uh, I bought it used and I guess I didn't have all the hardware. So just guys, let you guys know. So you know those six bolts that goes across. So it goes one right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, and right there. So when you buy a new one, I'm just showing you guys this so you guys know when you get buy, when you buy a new one. So when you buy a new one, it comes with two six bolts where you block off this. You block off, you put them in here, 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 and here, and here. Because if you don't, there's a be a, it'll be an air leak. Uh, so that's why you block those off. Um, he didn't have those. I tried using some bolts that um, fits, but still it didn't work. So I think you just need the ones that's from the z1 or whatever website or whatever company you get yours from um so what's cool about it dude gave me my money back and instead of just he give well he would have given my money back but he has the bigger throttle body and the spacer because when you have the spacer it's pretty much is like the kinetics i mean you still have that one the little things in the middle but it's pretty much just like it's like having a kinetics if you have a spacer so made a deal where uh, i got the spacer and the bigger throttle body so that's gonna be another video I'm gonna show you guys of installing that, but I'm just showing you this video so you guys know and what to expect and what to do when you get yours. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think about this video. Um, if you have the connectors, it's easy to install. You know, it's just like I showed you in the video. You take the bolts around it, and the one in the the, the six that's in the middle. You know, I showed you how to you know bypass the coolant. So that's how you do it when you get your own kinetics uh, air plenum. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, guys. Uh, I got more videos coming for this car. And I got some videos um, for the Mazda. I'm waiting for some parts. So stay tuned for that, guys. Again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.